Hi, it's Everyman Tactical. I'm doing a debut review of my FN57 pistol. It's a Mark II, and it just hit a thousand rounds last weekend. So let's uh, let's go over it. First, unload and show clear. So I've had this pistol about six months now. Now I did replace the rear sight. One of the problems with the Mark IIs is that rear sight is just spring loaded, and it is just crap for an everyday carry. I mean, you get point of zero shifts, point of impact shifts, almost every time you'd carry it for a couple days, you'd go to the range again. It was pretty crazy. So I actually got this mount from a 5.7 Red Dot and then a Burst Fast Fire 3. Beautiful Red Dot sight. Not too hard to find the dot if you know what you're doing. And also it has a nice co-witness with the uh, front sight. Not necessarily the dot, but it does have a line there which lines up pretty evenly with that uh, that front sight. Now a lot of people say this is not a good everyday carry weapon. I tend to disagree. It has the capabilities that most pistols don't have, especially if you're shooting these little guys. Pierce right through level three Kevlar. The great thing about this pistol is it is very thin. I mean, it's not much, you know, not much thicker than a, a 1911 per se, and it's lighter. So if you you know you carry a, a full size 1911 every day, and you're like, oh, the FN57 is too big to carry, think again, dude, because it's significantly lighter. You know, I, I carry it in a uh, Bravo concealment holster, compatible with my uh, TLR. It's beautiful. The good thing is, man, three mags. You're looking at 60 rounds. I mean, you're capable of of meeting any threats that you do happen to find. Um, it's also, another good thing is, I like the safety on it. It's right there, it's right there on the index. Right when you punch out, you can get that safety disengaged pretty easily. Also, 20 round mags. Now, that doesn't, you know, that's only three more than, let's say, a Glock 17, but these guys scream in, these ones in particular, 2150 feet per second. They are, they are pretty awesome. Also, the length of the round is uh, just over 0.8 inches, um, which gives you some benefits over your standard expanding rounds. Um, I wouldn't carry any of the 40 grain VMAXs or any of the expanding rounds. You lose a lot. I mean, yes, it expands, but what, to 0 0.30 inches? This is not very good. Um, the good thing about these long rounds, especially the, the 27 grain, um, SS 198 LFs which are they're a little bit pricey but they're way easier to get than the the 192 black tip armor piercings um, when they tumble dude that's that's almost an inch of permanent cavity and uh, from talking to the Belgians overseas dude they love it uh, it tumbles multiple times within the human torso shattering bones uh, tearing through fl flesh and still exiting but not with enough ve velocity really to hurt innocent bystanders uh, not that I'm saying you shouldn't, you know, check your backstop, but, you know, in, in that type of situation, you got a crowd, you don't worry about a 9 mil to zipping through four or five people, which it won't, but you get the point. Um, you know, I, I'm all about the, these small, fast rounds, and don't get me wrong, I carry, you know, I, I enjoy my 308, but uh, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of these. I've done a lot of testing with these and, and different rounds. Uh, I've, I've got a, a custom round I, I'm developing. Right now, it's, uh, you know, they, I just took a standard 55 grain uh, full copper bullet and just drilled out the base. I'm going to see if it, it'll actually function. Um, they're also, it's not that difficult to reload. It's difficult for beginners to reload. So as long as you've got a, a good digital uh, reloading scale and, and proper equipment and you kind of know what you're doing, you're not going to blow your hands off. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose these guys, possibly the entire hand. Uh, it, it is an incredibly high pressure round due to it being a bottled necked cartridge. Um, not unlike the, the 7.62 by 25, but it's, it's worth it for self-defense. It may not have the foot pounds, but that's not what you're looking at. Um, you're really looking at permanent cavity. I mean, who cares if it's a 10 grain bullet? You know, and it's imparting very little cavity, but if it zips right through somebody, doing a almost half an inch permanent cavity, you know, with, with four to five, six inches of temporary cavity, that's pretty good. Especially since this thing is a penetrator. 
you're talking car doors, house doors, uh, you know, clothing, thick clothing, leather jackets. I mean, I've seen a four ply denim, denim test on the SS 198s. It does pretty good. So that's just a quick review and uh, this Everman Tactical. See you later.